what's up guys it's attack on samurai and it has been a while a very very long while but wi-fi battles are back so this is off the top of my head wi-fi battle number 11 on the channel um so i actually have a new team um as well of course um so again the reason why i uh haven't gotten back into the wi-fi battles was because well one school because i had to get through some stuff had to get through um had to get through you know finishing some final projects and all um and uh you know had had exams and all that jazz all that stuff um during that whole period um and also i just kind of didn't feel like doing wi-fi battles on the on the uh, ds and also i've been and also i was mostly playing showdown a lot more than on the ds and also the game did get a little boring as well and also to add on i did a new game um as well so that's why i couldn't do a uh, wi-fi battles for a long time but they're back and they're gonna be better than ever so uh yeah so before we get started um make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, leave your thoughts about the battle and such and what did you think about it did you think like the plays i made were, were good were good or do you think i could have made better plays or do you think the same about my opponent um but anyways my opponent is the legend 27 um i actually met him on i think the, on the uh, on a discord um i don't remember uh which discord it was but i do remember but um but I did ask for a battle, and he was there, so I was just like, hey, we're gonna battle, and he's cool with it. So he has a really, really offensive team compared to mine, um, and I'm actually gonna talk about my team as well, um, but his team uh, includes a Smeargle, a Seraptor, Mega Pimster, Escadrill, Escavalier, and Tapu Bulu, while my team over here is um, Cloud, the Reku, which I um which I had originally on my other team, um back in Oras. Um we have antennas. Antennas the flygon is making a comeback. We have Ryuko, I mean Ryuko, the uh Mega Scizor actually. So I actually made it a mega this time instead of having it be I think I think Ryuko last time was Choice Banded, if I remember. Um or was Life or one of the two. Uh then we have um a cruel tent, the tent of cruel, um rocking the focus ash. Then we have a Decidueye um, being specially defensive, a Pursuer the, the Decidueye being specially defensive, I'm um, rocking the lefties, and we have um, Thick, our uh, physically defensive Blissey. Um, so yeah, basically the purpose behind this team is to allow um, for Flygon to set up a DD, I mean for Antennas to set up a DD. Um, as it traps, I mean, right, ap right after Pursuer traps and stuff, which uh, Spirit Shackle, you know, wears stuff down um, a lot. As well as um, Tentacruel wearing stuff down with Toxic Spikes, because it also carries that. It's also offensive um, to add on. So it has uh, it has Toxic Spikes, Scald, Ice Beam, and Sludge Bomb, um, being max speed, max special attack. Um, then we have a uh, Pursuer, our decision UI being spe being special defensive, uh, rocking the uh, Spirit Shackle, um, Toxic, Ruse, and Default, get rid of hazards, and wear stuff down like I said before. Uh, Blissey, um, me Thick the Blissey, um, rocking the Stealth Rocks, Thunderbolt, uh, Toxic, and actually I think I gave it Flamethrower. Yeah, I think I gave it Flamethrower actually. Uh, flamethrower, uh, Toxic, and Soft Boiled. Um, get those hazards up and wear stuff down, especially this team. This team gets weared down a lot by Stealth Rocks. So you're going to see Stealth Rock doing some magic in this game. Um, and then we have a Cloud being Specs, um, rocking the uh, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice, and the Extra Sensory. And uh, Flygon and Antennas are a uh, Flygon is actually rocking the Ground Indium Z uh, to boost that um, Earthquake power and just do it to a massive amount. Uh, run it being a tectonic rage uh so uh yeah again this team i really like this team and i'm really glad i get to showcase this team i mean i get to show off this team as well so uh yeah let's get into this 
and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, by the way, I did have this battle fairly re fairly recently. Fairly recently, I had it like I think two weeks ago or so. So I remember a little bit about the game. But anyways, I'm gonna start off with Cloud, my uh, choice specs Reku, as my opponent is gonna start off with Smeargle, uh, my precious. I don't know why it's so what's so precious about a Smeargle to be honest. But uh, we're gonna exert our pressure on the uh, on the precious and uh, make it uh, piss itself a little bit. We're gonna go for the Volt Switch and we're going to bring it to, a, actually we're gonna bring it almost to a Sash. Um, we're gonna bring in Pursuer right here. Um, Cause basically uh, the Smeargle can't really do anything to my Pursuer. So pretty much I feel like the best play was to go for Toxic. So he actually stays in, he, he uh, sets up his hazards right here and uh, he goes for the Toxic and I finish off his Smeargle. So my Precious is gone, which is again, great. And uh, and again, really great that I got rid of his, uh, got rid of his hazard uh, user right away. So Smeargle drops, he brings in Volcanion, which was weird to me because I felt like he probably would have brought in Pinsir right off the bat. I mean like, if I were him, I would have brought up Pinsir right off the bat because Pinsir would have done so much to me, but especially with all the hazards up, but he brings in Volcanion. He actually goes Earth Power on a prediction. I guess thinking I would have went into into a uh, Reku or something, but I stayed in and it paid off because I got because I uh, go Defog and I get rid of the hazards um, from uh, my side of the field that he set up from Smeargle, which is amazing. So he switches out Volcanion. Again, don't know why he went Earth Power. I mean, again, the Earth Power play wasn't really the best play for him. He brings in the Escadrille uh, right here, predicting the Toxic. Um, I actually switch out uh, and I bring in Thick. I think he actually went Escadrill, predicting me to go into Reku, maybe. Um, but I bring in Thick. He goes Earthquake. And Earthquake is going to do a crap ton to my Thick. So Thick is barely going to, is actually going to get too KO'd by this. Um, he goes self, I go for the Stealth Rocks, because again, like I mentioned before, Stealth Rocks are a major, major factor to, to uh, this game. So, um, again, really glad I got those up right away. So I'm going to switch out Thick, and I'm going to bring in Antennas. Now, actually right here, I forgot that his Escadrill was Mold Breaker. So he's going to hit me, um, even though I'm levitating, but that doesn't matter because Mold Breaker just breaks through abilities. So Antenna is going to take a crap ton of damage from that Earthquake and I'm forced to switch out and go into Pursuer to take the Earthquake or whatever else he would have done. Um, so eventually I'm starting to figure out at this point in the game that okay, he keeps going Earthquake so I have to make this assumption that he's either Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf makes more sense, I've, I've never ever seen a Choice Bandit Escadrille. Um, it would be cool to see, but that Mon would probably hit incredibly hard and wouldn't have too many switch-ins anyway. Actually, it has a ton of switch-ins. But anyways, right here, I make the GOAT play and I go for the Toxic right as he brings in the Staraptor. Um, again, didn't want to go Spirit Trackle because I had a feeling like we'd have brought in Staraptor. Um, and also, I mean, I mean, I could have went for it, but Toxic was definitely the better play. Because he couldn't really do anything to me, and I was again figuring out that figuring out that okay, he's scarf, so I can't get the toxic off on it and such. Um, so anyways, he's gonna go for the brave bird with his bird Jesus on my uh, thick, and thick is not gonna take this brave bird at all. I pretty much sacked it right here, and right after a uh, thick goes down, uh, Seraptor's gonna take a crap ton amount of recoil damage plus the toxic as well, so that's gonna wear down Seraptor a lot. So his uh. So his bird Jesus is uh, pretty much going to drop right here to Ryuko, my uh, Mega Scissor right here. So we're going to go for the Mega Evolution, just going to get our uh, huge scissor out right now and we're going to cut some people. So uh, yeah, we're going to go for the BP and we're going to finish off bird Jesus. So uh, goodbye bird Jesus, you are not the true bird Jesus. So uh, yeah, gone. So there goes that, um, right now he brings in, he brings Escadrill back in. Which I was thinking that, okay, he brought this mon back in. He's probably going to go for Rapid Spin because he needs to keep Rapid Spin off of his side. He needs to keep Stealth Rocks off of his side of the field. Because if he has them up, then that's really going to hurt his Volcanion and his Pinsir. So I really thought he would go Rapid Spin, but instead he goes Earthquake again. Which, again, really didn't make too much sense to me. But still, 
Pursuer is doing a, is doing a job that it normally doesn't do, which is taking physical hits, which is the opposite of its goal, you know, of its job. So um, he's gonna switch out, and right here I predict the switch, um, thinking that he would actually go maybe Volcanion or Pinsir, or actually no, I think I think I was thinking something else, but. Um, basically, he's gonna bring in Tapu Bulu, and I go for the Toxic again, predicting him to switch out into anything. So I get the Toxic off, and that is gonna be huge for wearing down this Tapu Bulu. So, again, I'm making some very, very good predictions, um, right here. Um, some very great, great predictions. So, um, uh, luckily for me, um, because he has the Grassy Surge up, I'm gonna get some health back, um, in both lefties and with the uh and with the grassy surge and uh top of bulu is gonna get worn down by toxic so right here he actually goes for the sword stance i'll play right here um i was actually a little shocked about that i was kind of scared of that so i'm gonna go for the spirit shackle um because i wanted to wear this thing down a little bit as much as possible um so now this mod can escape which is amazing and which is kind of not good because um, I don't want, because I didn't know what kind of, uh, Tapu Bulu he was, um, besides the fact that he had Sword Stance. I was thinking that he could have been carrying, like, a Z-move or something, um, but, uh, yeah. So, I switch out, and I have to sack, um, antennas right here, um, into whatever he was gonna do. Again, I thought he would go for, for maybe a Z-move or something, but he goes Stone Edge, that is gonna drop antennas, and, uh, yeah, again, really unfortunate I didn't get to use antennas this game. Um, cause again, antennas actually would have been pretty, pretty useful this game. But, again, we didn't play too well around that Escadrille at the beginning. But that's okay. So we're going to bring in a Cruel Tent. I could have brought in a uh, Mega Scissor right off the bat. But I was just like, you know what, nah. I'm going to bring in Tentacruel and get off this damage. Boom. There goes the Bulu. So Bulu drops. And that is great. He's gonna bring. He's forced to bring in Escadrille. Um, I mean, he could have brought in. Nah, he had to bring. He had to bring this mon in. So he's gonna break the mold. Doesn't really matter because I'm focused Ash. So he's go, he goes Earthquake, and Grassy Terrain actually reduces Ground type moves, but that still does a crap ton of damage to me. I thought maybe that would have done like half, or maybe like I don't know 70%, but that took me all the way down. And I go Skull, no burn. Which is fantastic. Sarcas sarcasm is great. Um, so I have to sack um, a cool, t a cruel tent right here um, to this earthquake, so that way I can bring in Mega Scizor and finish off the Escadrille. So pretty much at this point, um, I realized that well, one, he didn't have Rapid Spin, so he's not going to get rid of these rocks and all. And two, I realized that um, I realized at this point that Riku can pretty much clean the game up with, with a, a Thunderbolt and also Volcano would drop to Stealth Rocks um, on a switch in um, after taking some damage as you're going to see. So Escadrill is going to drop which is great. Again a huge Mon that could have been a problem um, but pretty much wasn't a problem at, problem at all because it just got worn down by so, um, so much. So he goes to Eruption with Volcano and misses the first time. I go Superpower, get as much damage from this Volcano as I can and that is going to do a clean 40% to it, bringing it down into the low yellow. He goes to Eruption again, he actually lands it this time, and fortunately for him, he actually gets the burn, which is going to whittle down my superpower damage by a ton. So superpower is going to do not even enough to take it out, which sucks. So I'm burned, I'm at minus two, um, right here. Um, I have to try and get as much damage as I can off. He brings in Volcanion. Um, he actually switches out Volcanion and brings in the Pinsir. So actually, at this point, I was actually fearing this mod a little bit because I thought, oh no, he's gonna try and get a Moxie boost off. Um, and try and go for Quick Attack or whatever. Uh, since Ryuko is really low. So, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm gonna predict your Quick Attack. And go into Pursuer. Um, so that way I could, you know, block that. But instead, he actually goes for the sword stance, which was definitely a good plan this part for doing that, um, making that play. But again, regardless, regardless that he went that play, um, Reiku still cleans up. So he is going to finish me off with a quick attack as he mega evolves and gets off that aerial boosted quick attack, which is, again, like I said, 
definitely gonna take me out um so boom there goes pursuer um again pursuer did a lot this game honestly wearing down so much i mean wearing down mons by so much you know making those crazy predictions so i have to bring in cloud right here and cloud is pretty much my win condition well i mean this is pretty much the end of it so i go thunderbolt that is gone and that is pretty much game because volcano will drop to stealth rocks so uh yeah again really really interesting game um the my opponent played again really thought that i really didn't i really thought that there were going to be some plays that he would do um that i was predicting like again i really thought he was going to try and pressure me with that escadrille and go rapid spin and i also thought that maybe also actually no i also thought that mega pincer would have actually swept me if he if he had gone uh pincer first instead of going volcano uh because if he went pincer first he definitely had a chance to to uh, sweep me because well because well um because <clears throat> well one he would have lowered my speed down because of the sticky webs and two i would be taking recoil and i and two i would be taking damage from self rock as well so don't know why he didn't make that play to do that and he could have ended this game off very quickly but you know what that's him that's him that's how he played but that is gonna be it for this wi-fi battle if you guys did enjoy the wi-fi battle leave a like comment and subscribe um if you enjoyed it and uh yeah also share it with your friends and all um let them know about my content and uh you know also also tell your friends that they can come and battle me because i accept all battles actually no that's a lie i don't accept all battles but i accept a lot of but I, I accept a lot of battles so um yeah you're gonna see this team again uh coming up pretty soon so we're gonna see this uh, nah, you're gonna keep seeing this team um because again i really like this team and i really want to show it off more um and also you know show off that ground in emz flag on just putting in some massive work so um yeah again that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all then